I need to sell the vaccine so that I can fix the Australian female vote. Prime Minister. Can you bring in that cute old lady with the short grey hair that stuck her fingers up while we are getting the jab together? Everybody loved that shit. Well, I can assure you that I am no cute old lady. Um, that is a pejorative assumption. I'm here to talk about cancel culture. Bob, this is not a good time right now. I've got more than enough loose cannons to tie down at the moment. You're in from Queensland. North Queensland? Yes, can you scan the QR code, please? No, you can scan my QR code. Okay? Ah, oh, there's a baby croc in it. No, Bob, don't put the crate on my desk, please. You don't know where it's been. Oh, yeah, the crate or the desk? Stop it. Oh, yes, what are you going to do? Start crying, eh? Well, only if it softens up the Australian female vote. Adam, can you move in for a close-up if I start blubbering? Hmm. I just wish I could stop all of these allegations. Alligators? Where? No, ministers and MPs and staffers in hot water. You know, Tony Abbott faxed me to say that if any of my blokes wind up in jail, then I should just take it to the High Court. Hmm. I'll have to get some advice from the Attorney General. Oh, yes. And who's that this week? M Michaelia. She's right here. Yeah. Prime Minister, I have Andrew Lamming on the line for you. Oh, good. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> have you spoken to my empathy coach yet? <laughs> Stop it. Or I'll tell you again tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus. Prime Minister, I have Erica Betts on the line for you. Yes, Eric. Scott, have you heard about the possible name change of the Golden Gay Times? Well, that's why I'm here, uh, Prime Minister, because once again, our uh, freedom of speech is under threat by um, pejorative homosexuals. Yes. Scott, don't worry about Porter, Reynolds, Craig Kelly, Laming, the desk jockeys or the rent boys. If you want to win back your country, and talk about the golden gay times. Yes, Eric, thank you. I've always believed in miracles, Mr Speaker. Yes.